Welcome to Living Spiritual Greatness with Purpose and Meaning. I am your host, May Wengel, and I want to invite you on a journey to finding and living your purpose. Knowing and following our inner calling gives our lives meaning and clarity on where our goals are. We are all spiritual beings here on earth to have a human experience, and when we have a focus on this experience, we can create a fulfilled life. Come join me in this movement to make this world a better place by letting go of our fears, old patterns, attachments, and resistance. Enjoy today's show. Hello, my beautiful and wonderful people out there. It's time for another podcast episode, and I've decided to record it here live on my Instagram channel. So hello to everybody who's live out there. Um, on the Instagram channel. If not, you'll see it in the in the recording. It's definitely going up on the podcast and also on my YouTube channel. <laughs> so today's May 5th, uh, May, May 5th, May 1st, and um, I wanted to bring something to your attention. Um, maybe you've noticed a little bit. Those of you who are in my Facebook group have noticed. Some of you uh, might notice it right now. The podcast name has changed from Koho Luna Living Spiritual Greatness to just Living Spiritual Greatness. And uh, this is a decision um, that came to me actually really in last week. Last week has been an incredible boost on inspiration and impulses that came through. Not only realizing for myself uh, what my purpose is, my my own purpose and... um, with that noticing, oh my God, that is actually where I am very good at. Because I was asking some of you, maybe, because I know some of my friends are here also, have noticed that I that I was, um, I have been uh, asking for feedbacks and, and, and checking. And um, a couple of my friends told me that, like one of the things that happens when I was talking to them, when I was coaching them, was that, they actually really gained a lot of clarity for the topic that they were going through for this. I'm I'm calling it topic because I don't don't want to say problem, but probably challenge is best. So whatever challenge they were going through in that moment, um, my coaching actually helped them get clear on where they were and where they were supposed to go, you know, like to get a, like a direction on where to start, where to keep on going. Right. And um, and I was thinking for myself, because, I mean, I know uh, what we're doing here, living spiritual greatness, um, has to do a lot with us connecting back to our soul, soul source and um, living what's supposed to come through there. Mm, and it was just clear. It's so amazing. It's like, because I've been sort of like, a little bit in the clouds like what do we do like is is my main work or job to you know like to create with you guys to to release things you know like the last episode was about releasing anger or emotions like that right um but i realized that's just a tool actually like where do i really want to help you and support you properly and where have i helped and supported others and i've noticed that actually one of my gifts truly is to see the situation from a different angle from where the person is and I can help them gain clarity on where the next steps are depending on where they want to go so I I help on these three levels basically finding out where you are right now like get a clear view of it then get a clear view on where you want to go and then you know direct it there and um, and this is for me. This is living spiritual greatness. It's 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 about reconnecting, and that's what what purpose is about as well. And that's why you're gonna notice that a lot of the future podcast episodes that we're gonna be recording, uh, also the interviews that I'm gonna be doing with other people, it's about purpose. It's going to be a lot about how purpose, how important purpose is in our lives and meaning in our lives is, and. Now, that's why I wanted to take today to actually, on one hand, explain to you what I define as purpose and meaning, but I'm going to do that at the end. First, I want to tell you the story why, for me, the root 
of my spiritual path have been connected strongly not not only because i'm like i i see that what i have learned so far it's it, it's been a mix of all the cultures i've lived in all the spiritual teachings i've learned but of course a big core or a big chunk of it comes from the hawaiian philosophy and it's so amazing um because my whole spiritual path started because I was looking for purpose and meaning in my life. And somehow the normal, I'm, I'm going to call it the normal world, wouldn't show me proper answers to that. So I went out and said, okay, I need to find meaning and purpose in my life. So I'm going to find whatever has to happen. You know, like if I don't find it through the normal world, I'm going to go and find it on a spiritual path. And that's how I started going on, you know, like learning shamanism and learning all those sort of things before I actually, you know, with the energy work, with, I, I got to the Hawaiian philosophy and then I started doing massage first because I thought that's where I'm supposed to be with my purpose. And then uh, that transition. So it's, it's a little journey that brought me through purpose-wise all along. Um, <clears throat> until I decide, I, until I not decided, until I noticed that I don't only work energetically with my hands, I also do it with my voice by talking to people, by guiding people. I, I started off with guided meditations. So as you see, the thing is, it's about going in there, trying, following the impulse. That's where is it bringing you? Where is it taking you to find your, to define purpose, at, up to a certain point. Like I said, I'm going to def define what I mean by it later. Um, but the thing is that after going through this path, at some point, I ended up in, uh, in my training with Kumu Mahalani <laughs> uh, on Big Island. Highly recommend uh, you check her out. Uh, we already did two interviews here for the podcast, so you can check that out as well. But... Um, the wonderful and the weird thing was that um, I got from her, she gave me a Hawaiian name. And it's very interesting about this because I've heard before, like you have spiritual teachers and they give you a special name. You've probably heard of people. I know that it happens in India as well, um, in Bali. And, you know, like in all the spiritual places, you somehow get a wonderful special name, right? I remember I had a friend that did the Lomi training with me, her given name. I mean, after birth from a teacher was Shakti. And um, and so for me, I was like, when I started off and realized, oh my God, I could have a Hawaiian name somewhere, you know, like could be hidden somewhere. And I went to Hawaii twice and no name came up. So I was like, okay, well, we'll, we'll see, <laughs> right? And then, um, and then I went for the third time and I was with Kumo Mahalani and... I remember when she sat in front of me and was like, you have a Hawaiian name. I have a Hawaiian name for you. And she gives me the name. And I'm, for those of you who want to hear it, it's Kealii Maikai Loa. Um, and it's a little bit hard to translate. For those of you who have dealt with the Hawaiian language, it's a very emotional language, so it's hard to translate into a very how do you say, mind-based um, uh, language like English or any of the Western languages. So um, basically, and, and this was so amazing for me because I was listening to this, to, to the name she gave me. And at first I was like, this is so weird. Like, I, I, sw I swear, I think that before, for me, a name getting a Hawaiian name would have been such a huge deal. And in this case, it was, but not for the reason of, oh my God, I'm getting a Hawaiian name. It was more like she said it and then she started translating it. And in, in the, I'm, I'm going to loosely translate it, someone who stands in divine brilliance. And when she tells me that, I immediately go like, this is not my name. I mean, it is my name. She's given, I mean, I'm right now I'm getting a name, but... The thing is that this name is my purpose. This name is my mission. This, this name is what I'm supposed to do here. Um, 
And right now that I'm telling you this, guys, it's like when I got the name for this podcast, which is Living Spirit, I mean, Kojo Luna, Living Spiritual Greatness, it already had the part of Living Spiritual Greatness. And I was not thinking of my name, of my purpose, of my idea. Now that I'm telling you this right now, it's like, oh, my God, actually, I already had it right there, right? <laughs> so, yeah, no, it's just it's it's that it's about realizing for ourselves the spiritual greatness that lies behind us that and i'm not saying in our past i'm saying that it's connected to us that is there that is just hidden because we have so many stories that we told us we have so many attachments so many resistance so many thought patterns fears that we put on top so we can't realize the spiritual greatness that is standing behind us and that is connected to our purpose because if we don't no, we if we can't look past those fears to that spiritual greatness, we're not going to have a sense of purpose. We, you know, we're just going to have small steps that we go through. So, yeah. So this is this is like I'm really stepping into my purpose right now in creating what I'm doing right now with the podcast, with the coachings I'm offering, uh, with a with the living spiritual greatness coaching program that I set up because it's about that it's about finding your purpose really following it and I'm not saying that I haven't followed it before I have been following it and I think right now it's sort of like okay now it's like now you're set go <laughs> and so this is this is this is what I'm doing um standing in my spiritual greatness and uh, creating this program and creating this podcast so that we can share more about purpose in life, right? Sorry, I have to check if the microphone is not bothering. I hope it's not doing any noises. That's the only thing about these kind of microphones that I don't like too much. Anywho, for those of you, if you feel that you're ready, you want to check out your purpose, you want to learn more about it, you want, or you know it already, but you're afraid to actually get started because there's so many things in the way or so many fears you have, uh, but you're ready to have someone support you with that, so, so to have someone that walks with you to get those things, to make the steps, let me know. My program is a six-month program. Um, and I've chosen this time because it just feels right for me to actually really be able to go deep because in the first couple of weeks and months, it's not that long. It's, you know, like it, it, it doesn't um, make go too deep on, on this. Um, I feel that if you take six months, it's, you can really go deep into everything and really transform the things that have to be transformed or that want to be transformed so that after these six months, you have really the the flame and the power inside of you to live your purpose and to know your purpose first of all to know your purpose and to li and fully live it or to already have made the first steps to you know to be there to to listen to that part in yourself um but yeah but because this program is just getting started um i've decided because i want you to get to know me the way i work so I've decided, uh, because I need a couple of uh, testimonials for my website, of course, so I want you to get to know me. So I have created uh, testimonial sessions where you can get to know my work, where we can dive into your purpose and see what your purpose is. So these are complimentary for you. You can just, if you decide that you'd like to have a compliment, that you're, you're ready, you want to give a testimonial, you want, you want to be a tester <laughs> and you want to come and have a session with me, um, and you want to give a testimonial, um, just follow in my name, go into my profile. You, there's a little link tree in the description. There's a link tree thingy. And that link tree leads you to the list of links that I have. And the top, most top one is the testimonial sessions. You could, if you click on that, you get directed to a calendar. You can choose your time that suits you best. And then we're ready to go. We're going to meet on Zoom, a viral, uh, some of you probably know Zoom already. So we can meet in Zoom, just the two of us. We can do a session. We can dive uh, as deep as it is possible in one hour and see uh, what wants to be transformed. You can get to know me um, and we can definitely get something done. Trust me, in one hour we can get something done. It's not going to be as deep as a session for six months, but 
is going to be, we're definitely going to be able to at least move a couple of things and get clarity for you in whatever dimension needs to happen. And the only thing I'm asking for it is a testimonial, a honest testimonial for my website. That would be really, really awesome. So that's out there for you. Um, yeah, just follow that link. That's really easy. Just go to uh, my profile right now, click on the link tree link and the top most point is the testimonial sessions. So I'm looking forward to listening to you guys, uh, to see you there online. <laughs> okay. But now, oh, that was for all the Instagram people. For those of you listening in on the podcast or on the YouTube channel or Vimeo, you'll find all the important, uh, links below the video or if you're tuning in uh, listening in um on the podcast dig into the uh sometimes my head just um what's it called the show notes thank you if you're listening into the podcast there's show notes uh that belong to this episode just click on that and you'll get your testimonial session and i'm looking forward to that to be able to serve you and to see how so that you can see how I can best serve you looking for your purpose, getting clarity on that. And I bet you we can do a lot in one hour. Okay, so that's that. But now to the most important part, what is, how do I define purpose? And I define purpose in different ways because I think purpose is like some people have this view and I'm, I'm using that as well. Some people have this notion that purpose is like, a goal that you set and that's where you have to follow and but for me purpose is something movable is something that can change through time um, is something that grows with you um, depending on your own situation on where you are um, I think that purpose Sometimes it's graspable, but I feel that the more we need it, like if we're really, oh my God, I have to have it. I have to find out. Like I've noticed people that have been very putting themselves under pressure, like, oh my God, I need to know my purpose. What is my purpose? You know, going like this, tell me, tell me. And I've, like, I've, I've seen people and, and I'm, I'm saying this because I used to be someone like that as well. I remember waiting for my spiritual teachers to come up and tell me what my purpose was. Because, I mean, we're used to, like in the older generations, we're used to, you were born into a shamanic family or you were born into a family of doctors or lawyers, right? So we were following that. But it's always easy to pass, you know, like to give that away and to have someone else decide for us. And the idea is for us to say, okay, this is what I want. This is what I need right now. Um, and I think that's what purpose is about. Purpose is about, on one hand, watching ourselves. And on the other hand, because of the watching of ourselves, getting to know ourselves, finding out what we really want, what we really need. Um, and through those needs, find out what our purpose is. And... Um, and purpose is something that gives us motivation, right? To move on because it's, it's sort of, for, for me, a purpose is like, okay, now I have a goal. Now I can walk that way. And if we don't have it, we're like lost. We're going like, oh, I'm doing this today. I'm doing that today. Um, and it's without a goal, right? Unless your goal is, of course, unless your purpose is, of course, to just live and enjoy. Then that's what you're going to be doing. That's awesome. But when we're not doing it with the purpose intention with the intention i've seen people being lost i re i like i don't know how many times in in the reviews that i got especially like before in my german um with my german clients german speaking clients how often it was like i feel lost like i don't know where to go i don't know i don't even know where to start and and it's about actually doing that right actually seeing that the purpose what your that maybe right now your purpose is to find out what your purpose is you know if you if you don't see it then maybe make it your purpose to find out and the thing is that also and i think that's why we need it as a goal setter because it gives us direction where to focus on right like i said when i started the podcast living 
spiritual greatness. There's so many things that, that define spiritual greatness. But where do I focus on? In my case, it's actually focusing on the purpose because that's what makes us, gives us drive. That's what, you know, takes us in any direction or, or gives us purpose, gives us meaning, gives us motivation. Now I know where to go to, right? So that's, that's the idea. It's, it's about finding a direction for ourselves because a lot of times when we don't have any focus and it doesn't, and I'm not saying that because sometimes it's just about, you know, like just living, just breathe, just allow yourself to live and enjoy that, that part of life. Right. And, but the thing is that if we don't do that with that intention, we get lost because we feel like, Oh, I'm just, you know, like I'm just doing one thing and it doesn't have any meaning. And that's also another thing. For me, purpose means giving meaning to something, giving meaning to what I'm doing. Why am I doing this? I'm doing this because I have a purpose, right? Because I have a meaning behind it. And if something has a meaning for myself or not, it's something that I decide. It's a decision that we make, depending on our needs, on what I want and what, where I want to go, right? So you see, it's sort of a very complex subject. Um, it's an overall uh, thing, but I think it's an amazing thing, an amazing, beautiful journey. And I'm so much looking forward diving deeper into this topic with you guys. Um, and I'm so happy that we're doing this and it just feels so right. And I'm so grateful for all of you out there listening and tuning in and listening to this uh, podcast or watching as video. It's really amazing. I'm grateful for every one of you guys out there. And I hope that we will be able to work together at some point. Um, but if not, I hope that at least the podcast gives you so much inspiration so that you can find your purpose, so that you can move forward with your purpose. But in case you need support, you want support, let me know. Like I said, right now I'm having the testimonial sessions as an offering for you guys. Um, if you can, if you right now, if you need support, take it up really you're allowed to use it. It's for free. The only thing I'm going to want from you afterwards is a testimonial. And I think that's not so hard to give. So with that, thank you so much for tuning in again and uh, enjoy your weekend. Have a wonderful weekend, but have an even better May just started today. Have a wonderful May and enjoy this wonderful month. Um, yeah, hoping everywhere that uh, all the quarantine things are going to be lifted a little bit. If not, use that time for yourself to find out more about your needs, your wishes, where you want to go and focus on them. <laughs> With that, wishing you all a great weekend. Bye, everybody. Have a great time. Thanks for tuning in.